Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. You know, this is something that it's barely talked about. I have mentioned it, I think, about maybe 10 to 20 times on my videos. And as you all know, I have over 3,000 videos. But I have mentioned this plenty of time. Now, when I first started this channel, of course, I made some mistakes. And I had to learn a lot about the televisions, about the 4K technology, about the pixel ratios. A higher pixel count density brings higher detail density on a bigger canvas and a bigger TVs. But I also learned about the sharpness. And what is the purpose of the sharpness? Now, you're going to be guessing and you're going to be thinking to yourself, well, what's going on here? What is he showing us here? All right. So what you're looking at here, as you all know, this is my 55-inch TCL R617 television that I have. Okay. And uh, what you're seeing here, it's an IMAX shot, overhead shot with a helicopter or a drone, whatever Michael Bay was using for the movie Transformers The Last Night. Why am I using Transformers The Last Night? Because it was recorded with such a high-end cameras that really shows that 8.3 million pixels here on this uh, 4K UHD Blu-ray. So, now you're looking at this picture and it looks really nice. It looks very detailed. You get to see that building there nicely detailed. What do we see here? We see plenty of detail. I want you to ask yourself a question. Well, why that is? Why are we seeing this detail? And you guessed that right. It's because of the pixel. Pixel ratio. Pixel count. We got 8.3 million pixels squeezed right here into this 55-inch canvas. Now that you understand that, now that you understand the pixels give the detail. Now we can move on to the sharpness. Okay. I just told you in the beginning, pixels, higher counts of pixels gives better detail. So then the question comes in, well, what should I do with the sharpness? Well, good question. I'm glad you asked that because that's why we're doing this video. What do you want to do with the sharpness? And that's what this video is about. And hopefully this will sink in and you guys will understand. For those of you who are just new into 4Ks, 4K television, 4K movies. If you are watching 4K movies, if you are watching 4K content, any kind of 4K content that has 8.3 million pixels, there is no reason whatsoever for you to be raising that sharpness do you want to see where my sharpness is at here and you're going to say how is this possible look how beautiful the picture is how is this possible well i'll tell you how it's possible it's possible because sharpness doesn't do anything to enhance the detail it doesn't do jack shit, excuse my language, to enhance the detail when you have 8.3 million pixels. What enhances the detail, it's the pixels, 8.3 million pixels. So, should you ever touch the sharpness? No. Simple answer is no. You should leave sharpness at zero at all times, at all times, at all times, when you are watching 4K movies. When you're watching 4K movies, your sharpness should always be at zero. There's a reason why it needs to be at zero, because if you move that sharpness bit higher, all you're going to be doing, you're going to be outlining that picture, detail. What does that mean? It means, hold on. It means that 
you're going to be getting all kinds of noise filtration happening across your across your screen because you now you're enhancing that sharpness you're enhancing that edge sharpness and the characters will look weird they're going to look like they've been cut out of the cartoon or something look bringing sharpness i'm going to show you the demo really quick i know you guys want to see visual demo on i can talk for hours and i can talk for days on why you shouldn't use sharpness on 8.3 million pixels and above but i'm going to show it to you like on this scene right now you know that my sharpness is at zero i'm going to take this camera out of the tripod and i'm going to show you a couple of uh, things right now let me show you something for example right here i brought my camera a little bit closer here we see a very good detail here we see the car we see the building the roof overhead uh, this uh, building right here whatever this is so we see the car we can differentiate the colors and everything so everything looks natural and this is sharpness at zero now you're gonna say why are we getting such a good quality detail well, we're getting a good quality detail as I said earlier because the pixels are doing the job pixels are enhancing that sharp detail look what's gonna happen if I move my sharpness to 63 I'll keep it like this and I'm gonna move my sharpness to 63 and look what's gonna happen in about three seconds one two three and look at this look at the ghost effect this is 63 Look at the goat. Now we're losing detail now on these pixels because we're enhancing these pixels. Look at the ghost effect here. Look at the ghosting, the edge, edge line ghosting we're seeing here. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Look at all this edge line ghosting that we're seeing. This is you having the sharpness to 63. And I'm at 63. Imagine if I went to 73. So what we're doing basically now is we're crushing the detail. Here, uh, this is a good example. I'll keep it like this. Uh, I want you to keep an eye right here on this building and then here too. And you're going to see, once I move the sharpness to zero, zero this uh, ghost door effect, it's going to be gone from the pixels because now we're going to get that nice pixel detail on the, on the picture. So let me move the sharpness to zero in about three seconds. Actually, four seconds. One, two, three, four. And what do we have here? We got a much better detail because we have sharpness at zero. Meaning we don't see any more of that outline, sharp ghost effect, door ghost effect detail, if you will. Now, this is very hard for me to show via camera, but I think even with camera, you can see just how much of detail you get when you have sharpness at zero everything is detailed as it should be even right here on this building you get to see that beautiful detail okay well it doesn't have to be this scene we can go to some other scenes and you will see why sharpness at zero for the for for the 4k 8.3 million pixels it's very important what I want you to get from this video is that I want you to learn one thing. You don't need sharpness on 8.3 million pixels. You already have the detail. You already have 8.3 million pixels. There's no reason for you to move the sharpness. Pixels enhance the picture quality. Pixels enhance the sharp detail, not the sharpness. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And I'm making this video not for me. I'm making this video for you so you guys can learn something. That, that's why I'm doing it. That's from whom this video is. 
for those of you who have been misled that quote unquote sharpness enhances the picture quality quote in the air quote in the air they don't what they do is they're sac- you're sacrificing your picture quality now I'm not saying that there's no reason for you not to use sharpness but you should only use the sharpness on very low end resolutions like 480i 480p 560p 720p or on something that's very low like a low resolution and there the, the, the picture is going to look soft there you can move the sharpness a little bit higher but even there you don't want to go all the way too high you want to keep it in the middle for the 4K, because listen guys, we're talking about a very high resolution here of pixel detail. You don't need to mess around with sharpness. And I know a lot of you are going to have difference of opinion on this, but it's not just me saying this. You can ask any professional calibrator. Forget about me. I'm nobody. Ask professional calibrators. Ask professionals. And they'll tell you. There's no reason for you to be touching that sharpness on 4K movies, on 4K content. So anyway, I don't know if there's anything else I can say. Uh, Let me move my camera out a little bit here, put it on a tripod so you guys can see some more scenes. I'm going to go through some of the scenes here, paused scenes in the movie. I want you to see just how beautiful the picture looks when you have sharpness at zero due to the uh, 8.3 million pixels that's being projected onto the screen. For example, just look at the detail here that you see, even on a fast-moving scene that's also implemented with 2K to 4K intermediate due to the fact that there's some CGI here, obviously. But even on this scene, look what 8.3 million pixels will do. If you truly want to see what 4K can do, if you truly want to appreciate what 8.3 million pixels can do, then you need to turn that sharpness to the zero. Remember, this video is about sharpness. I'm not doing a picture settings or anything like that. Sharpness should be left at zero. Let's go to another scene really quick. And even here, on a fast-moving picture, why does it look so detailed? You see the the raindrops, everything, the water splashing across the metal on Optimus Prime. You see all of this. You see it because you have higher pixel density detail. Pixels are what enhances the detail. I mean, this is the basics that everyone should know if they want to get into 4K or television. This is the basic that everyone should know. And if you don't believe me, you can do your own research. Everything I tell you here, you can research it. You can Google it. You can read about it. You can study it. And you're going to find out the same answer that I just gave you here. And even here, it looks almost as if I put a wallpaper on this panel. It looks great because now I'm giving a breathing room. Okay, this is a good analogy. Okay, this is the metaphor. This is the analogy I'm going to use. It looks almost as if I gave these pixels a breathing room and now they can breathe I'm not using a bottleneck of sharpness to squeeze the life out of the pixels remember at the end of the day higher the pixel count better the detail it's not the sharpness and that's what the whole point of this video is guys it's for me to tell you that When you're watching a content on a higher resolution that's 4K or beyond, there is no reason for you 
to be using that sharpness. That's the whole point trying to make here. Okay? There's no reason for you to use that sharpness. Just remember this. Even if you disagree, you're not enhancing anything. Just remember that. You're doing it wrong. You're not enhancing anything by moving that sharpness high. Remember that. All right, hopefully this really gives you some... Look, I made this video so that way you guys can learn. That was the whole point of this video. If you guys don't believe me, there's plenty of uh, research you can do on your own and find out for yourself. Other than that, you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't forget tomorrow, Farpoint. Live stream with my friend, the VR Grid. We'll do that at 5 p.m. Thank you. And also, I'm going to try to squeeze in one more video, if I can, for Sony X900E and Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Take care. Have a good one, guys. See you tomorrow, Friday.